Hello, my name is Data. Hope you're doing well. So you want to make the most powerful weapons in Skyrim? You've come to the right place. This is going to be a condensed version on how to make the most powerful of any weapons, and it also applies to armor that you can make. Because once you reach level 100 on some of these items, you want enchanting, smithing. I set my weapon in archery, so once I hit 100, I can't really level up damage too much more through the skill system and alchemy. Those are the f three main ones and then the weapon one that you want. So I'm over here in alchemy. I'm going to go into my box and I have a... Where did I put that? I have a setup with a necklace. A silver ring. Created more potions are 29% more powerful. Bracelet and a circlet. Now, this part is controversial. This is half the players feel that using the Falmer helmet to add bonus to your potions is not what Bethesda intended, but the other half believe that Bethesda left it, so they in intended it. So I'm going to, for the sake of this video, use max potions. And with your apparel, take it off and put it back on one more time because the game is known to bug out and it won't give you the effects now it should give you the effects of that I'm gonna to go to ingredients and go to blister wart and glowing mushroom and I can make potions of fortify smithing that are 147 percent better so I'll craft a few of those and then for the fortify enchanting it'll be one butterfly wing and one of the snowberries that'll create 37% stronger enchantments. Okay, crafted some of those. And make sure you put your apparel back. Okay, now it's time to smith up some weapons. I'm going to go in here and grab some dragon bones. I'll just need two of them for the bow that I'm going to make. And one ebony ingot. All right, if I go over to the blacksmith forge and I go down to drag and you can see I can make a bow. It does 60 damage. But I have a set of clothes for smithing so I can equip the necklace, the plates, the silver ring and the apron. All right, do the same thing. Go to the apparel, take them off, put them back on, the gauntlets, the ring. Okay, go back here to the dragon. You can see the dragon bow still does 60 damage, but I will create one. I took, I took off all the blacksmiths improving armor. I will show you the progression of how this works. If I want to do a dragon bow, I can select it and it'll go up to 90. I will not craft it. I will now put on the armor that I have for 29% better smithing and put that on. Let's see what we get now. Dragon bone 60 to 122. I will not craft it. Here comes the fun part. We're going to go back to items, into potions. Fortify smithing at 147% better. Use one. Now I have 30 seconds to use it. You can see a bit of a glow around me. I'm going to go to the dragon bow. And it now does 209 damage for me. So I will craft that. And it's worth 15,441. Okay. And make sure you put away the clothes. So now that we have a strong base weapon, here comes the fun part. We're going to add some magic to the weapon. First thing I recommend is before you do anything, just go to the enchantment table. Take a look at your weapon. Take a look at the enchantments. Make sure you know exactly where they are. Make sure you have the grand soul gem that you're going to need. Just to verify, get an idea, because once you take the potion, you only have about 30 seconds to complete the entire process. 
first thing I want to do here is take a look and make sure at some of the numbers so without the potion absorb health would be 20 points that you would get let's take a look at another one maybe the fire let's see what the fire does where's that that one would do 31 points of damage this is without using the potion okay let's get set up do the potion and enchant some weapons I'm going to find the Potion of Fortify Enchanting for 37% stronger. This is my more recent potion that I've been able to make. And I immediately start enchanting. You can see the effect around the player. Take the your particular item, get whatever enchantment you want on there and set those up. They need to be set up with uh, an extra click for a yes. I'm going to double enchant this because my enchanting's at 100 and I have the skills improved. Make sure I have the Grand Soul Gem. And once that's set up, you can rename your item. So I'm going to rename my item. And I've named it Fire of Health Dragon Bone Bow. I'm going to enchant it, yes. It has been enchanted. And let me take a look at the stats here. Let's take a look at it. It has the new name and 209 damage, 23 points of health, 37 on the fire. And it has a value of 15,937. That's pretty good. If you want to sell it, I doubt any of the vendors have that much in gold. All right. You can do the same thing with your armor. I have a whole set of armor with bows do more damage, 47 or 48 percent. It was dependent on when I crafted it. Full max value was 48. I still have the other two to do if I want to hit 48 on everything. But this is actually pretty good. Because once I put all those on, let's go back and check out the bow. And now I'm doing 606 damage with the same enchantment values. Of 23 absorb of health and 37 points of fire damage. So that is pretty cool. And how to make the strongest weapons in Skyrim. Okay, well, I hope that helped you out. If it did, subscribe. I'm going to be making some more helpful guides in Skyrim. I have a full playlist. I'll leave that down in the description. Maybe some of those videos will help you. Other than that, we'll see you in the next video. I want you to have a great day. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye, and Fusro Da.